You served nearly 20 years in prison. For nothing. For nothing. For lies. Tonight in an exclusive TV interview, the man who spent nearly 20 years in prison for the fire that killed three Pittsburgh firefighters decades ago is telling his side of the story. And while Greg Brown pleaded guilty, he says he's innocent. He's free tonight thanks to an unusual plea deal. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan was the only television reporter inside the courtroom. He talked with Brown in an interview you'll only see here on KDKA. Andy. 27 years after that tragic fire, Greg Brown walked out of this courthouse after pleading guilty to arson, but maintaining his innocence. The whole case was a lie. Did he set an arson fire which killed three Pittsburgh firefighters 27 years ago in Homewood? Or did he spend nearly 20 years in prison for a crime he did not commit? Today, defense attorneys for Greg Brown and the government agreed to disagree, allowing Brown to plead guilty but admit no wrongdoing. I'm kind of upset. I'm real upset right now. I'm not happy about this, this plea right here. You don't like it? Not at all. Not at all. It's, it's, it's guilty, but I'm maintaining my innocence. Greg is 100% innocent, and there was not an arson. He wasn't anywhere near the house when the, uh, when the fire broke out. In a rare plea agreement called an Alford plea, Brown today pleaded guilty to malicious destruction of property, resulting in the deaths of Captain Thomas Brooks, Patty Conroy, and Mark Kalinda in the fire in February 1995. But at the same time, Brown maintains his innocence. He was freed from prison in 2014 with the promise of a new trial after his attorneys maintained he had been falsely convicted. But today those attorneys said a potential new conviction carries a term of life in prison. And after spending nearly 20 years in prison, Brown was unwilling to take the chance. That's why I took the plea, you know, get it over with. Me and my family try to bring some clarity to this. Family members of the firefighters declined comment when leaving the courtroom, but for their part, government prosecutors say the case against Brown remains strong. Citing the testimony of arson experts, the physical evidence of gas cans on site allegedly used to start the fire, and the testimony of witnesses saying Brown admitted to the arson. Brown's attorneys said the evidence for arson is weak and said those witnesses were given $10,000 and $5,000 each in exchange for their testimony, and they claim prosecutorial misconduct. $15,000 uh, reward, and all of a sudden these people get to pop up and get to say that I admitted to them. I never admitted to no fire. Greg is finally free, free at last for, for forever, and that's the way it should be. Still, Judge David Sircone approved the plea agreement, calling it just and reasonable and satisfying all parties. Quote, I think that this case does deserve closure, and this does bring closure not only to the defendant, but to family members of the deceased firefighters, and we can all move on. Now, as far as both sides are concerned, this case is over. Greg Brown is a free man and can get on with his life. Reporting live downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV.